trading day and week coming to an end, but the business day continues. Here's what's coming up on Bulls and Bears. Stocks rallying their way into Labor Day weekend, perked up by some better than expected employment numbers. Not everybody's cheering, though. We've got a guest who says we're not hearing the entire story on jobs. Thank you very much. Well, these latest job numbers may be playing well on Wall Street, at least today, but not necessarily on Main Street. Our next guest says when it comes to the backbone of our economy, small and medium-sized businesses, the outlook is still grim. We welcome Jerry Mills, founder of B2B CFO. Jerry, smaller businesses created some 80% of new jobs in recent years, and they are not getting a break from anybody. What does the road ahead look like for them? Well, the road ahead looks uh, very tough. Uh, we have what we feel is a tsunami coming our way with the current administration. And so we're hunkering down and uh, we're not going to hire very many people. We're going to grow our business. But this growth, as we come out of the recession, we're actually going to see a double digit unemployment uh, for the first time in a very long time. So the prospect for business is good. The prospect for those poor folks that are unemployed, uh, not very good at all. It was 1983 when we last saw unemployment figures this high. Of course, that was just before there was a huge tax cut that cut in. To the, the tax cut was announced a little earlier, but it wasn't until 83 that it really cut into the economy and made some significant impact on the good side. Unfortunately, we have the opposite situation, Jerry, coming. We're expecting tax increases. Well, yes, we see four things that are coming our way. We know that at the end of next year, there's going to be a significant tax hike, both personal and estate rates. Obama's going to do that. It's a done deal. We feel there's going to be a significant increase in health insurance costs, either by premiums or this 8% arbitrary amount that they're going to uh, penalize us. We know or we suspect that there are the possibilities of unions silently coming in and taking over our labor force. And then we're afraid of these uh, tax credits, uh, these carbon credits that are going to hit us. So we have these four things that are coming our way. And, and the natural effect of, uh, of an entrepreneur is to be proactive. So we're going to prepare for this. And unfortunately, the person who's going to be hurt is, uh, is those 14.9 those uh, million people that are unemployed. That is going to grow uh, to a higher number, unfortunately. Jerry, even in the bigger picture, though, are we, are we changing the fabric of America? We are the land of opportunity, but are we? Are we moving away from that? Oh, no, we're still the land of opportunity. But here's what's going to happen. Instead of, in the future, instead of hiring two or three people, entrepreneurs are going to hire one or maybe one and a half. Uh, instead of hiring people, we're going to invest in technology. We don't have to pay health insurance tax or other taxes if we buy software or a piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is some of these unemployed, quite frankly, they're going to need to uh, realize the American dream. And the American dream for them is starting their own business. So no, uh, what we need to do is be less dependent upon the government, less dependent upon businesses, take things back into our own hands like our forefathers did. So no, this is still the greatest country and the greatest time in the history of mankind. So I, I don't buy all this doom and gloom, but we're in different times, and so we just have to react accordingly. Well, it sounds like you're seeing some creative destruction coming. That is some destruction of jobs, but people are going to redesign their own lives and their own job structure to fit the new economy. Exactly. Uh, we need to not wait for employers to hire us. We need to be proactive. We do not uh, expect and we should not expect that employers are going to hire people when we have this tsunami of the, the current administration coming after us. So the dynamics are changing. And so what we need to do is do it like we always do. And we need to work a different path around the mountain. And it should work out in the long run. Uh, but it's going to be different uh, living with 10 or 11 or 12 percent unemployment. My suggestion to those for, poor folks is to uh, start your own business. Wow. Jerry Mills. Thank you very much, Jerry. Great to see you. Have a good weekend.